Other Notable Esotericists Other esoteric personalities worth noting are Polish mathematician and occultist Huene Fronski, who influenced Eliphas Levi as well as Max and Almathion. Max and Almathion were highly regarded esotericists who made their home in France and Algiers. Max was a skilled Kabbalist and deeply influenced by Fronsky, who incidentally was also a great influence on psychomathematician Charles Henry, 1859-1926, another hermetic personality. C. Charles Henry and the Formation of the Psychophysical Aesthetic, José Arguelles, 1972. The mother, then known as Mirra, often stayed with and learned many of the occult arts from Max and Thelma in the first decade of the 20th century before meeting Sri Aurobindo. The mother claimed that Alma was one of the most remarkable clairvoyants possessed of many paranormal powers. On one occasion, the mother said that Alma was quite exhausted and said she was going to replenish her energy. She lay down and asked the mother to bring her a grapefruit and place it on her solar plexus and then return in one hour. When she returned, the mother said that the grapefruit was flat and Alma's energy was renewed. According to the mother, Max Theon taught Madame Blavatsky the Kabbalah in Egypt. His teachings revolved around the seven planes of existence, evolution, reincarnation of the soul, or higher self as distinct from personality. Around 1900, Max and Alma produced and unpublished six volumes known as Cosmic Tradition, a precursor or foreshadow of Cosmic History Chronicles. The six-volume series remained unedited and was only given to advanced students. It was a cosmological doctrine written in French that tells the story of creation and the history of the world similar to the secret doctrine. The Theons founded the cosmic movement using the Seal of Solomon or six-pointed star as its symbol. The mother would later design a similar symbol for Sri Aurobindo. The mother claimed that Theon and Aurobindo arrived at similar conclusions about consciousness without ever physically meeting. We begin to see a whole esoteric patterning or weaving during the 19th and 20th centuries, similar to the generation of rock and roll in the 1960s and 70s, where all the great artists intermingled and exchanged styles and influence. In this regard, Eliphas Levi can be linked to Elvis of modern esotericism. It is interesting to note that Levi was 17 in 1927, the year William Blake died. A few other esotericists worth noting are Paul Foster Case, Builders of a Ditem, Manley P. Hall, Philosophical Research Society, Arthur Edward Waite, one of the leading proponents of the Golden Dawn system and designer of the most renowned tarot deck. Also noteworthy in relation to Crowley is S. L. McGregor Mathers and W. Wynne Westcott, the esotericist behind the creation of the Golden Dawn, the 19th century Kabbalistic Masonic order. Mathers dedicated countless years in the stacks of the British museums and other European libraries, synthesizing the essential symbolic correspondences for the tradition of Western ritual magic.